iceberg driving. You got a twofer today though. We're gonna do this and Salt Lake City Bur Bur Burger Company. We're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna go back to our office than what we just bought and do it. So we will be there. And that was a terrible snap. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> and we're back at our new office. So this is like, we're barely moved in. I just barely got the keys, thought, hey, let's come back here and do a burger review. So we're gonna do two. Okay, we're gonna start with Iceberg Drive-In. You can tell this seems like a very, very basic burger. It came in a very plain white bag. It's got a cheeseburger. Okay. Got it, Dylan? Got it. Okay. I can't remember what I have on her. Oh, mayo and then a, a tomato. That's a copious amount of mayo they put on the bottom of it. They had their burger sauce that we're going to put on there, which is mayo and relish, which I assume is sweet relish, which is no go. Like dill pickles should be on a burger. Sweet relish should not be on a burger. But anyway. Surprisingly better than I thought it would be. Very basic. Straight cheeseburger, straight kind of backyard patty, right? Back, by, what I mean by backyard patty is the kind of patties you buy at Costco or Smith's or Albertsons or someplace like that. You go back on the grill, you just throw those frozen bad boys on the grill, kind of, kind of what this is. But uh, potato roll is actually really nice. I actually like the roll quite a bit. Super soft. They didn't grill it. They didn't do anything. It's just a soft roll on there. And uh, I think the nice thing about it is they put actually quite a bit of mayonnaise on it. So I like a lot of mayonnaise on my burgers and they just did it right there. Hmm. That's one of the better buns that you find at a fast food joint. Well, huh, okay. Um, I'm gonna give this like a, I mean, very, very basic, pretty good, like a six, nine. Somewhere around in there. Like it's getting really, really close to a solid burger, but still, you know, on the, the lower side of, uh, of solid. So I think it's 6.9. Maybe some of the other burgers that are a little more decked out would be a little bit better, but we got a 6.9 on that. And that's Iceberg Drive In. And then we have Salt Lake City Burger Company. We got the Mexicali Burger. And. So the way Salt Lake City Burger kind of does is kind of like Fuddruckers back in the day. They don't really put the toppings on there. They put the meat and the cheese and there's an Anaheim chili on here. And then they give you a big selection of onions and tomatoes and so forth. And, and you can put those things on your burger. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Let's put a big slab of tomato on there. And then we have to have pickles, so let's put some pickles on there. I know there's an Anaheim on this, but I like jalapenos too, so I'm gonna load up a couple jalapenos. All right, let's get the fourth one on there. Okay. Okay, this bun, uh, is this gonna be a, be a potato bun like the other one? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's probably just a potato bun. It doesn't seem like a brioche, uh, brioche type bun. Super stiff. Okay. All right. Let's try this. I get any of the Anaheim, so I'm gonna get the Anaheim the next time around here. Well, so we got pepper jack cheese. We got cream cheese on there. Got the Anaheim. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of their. It's kind of their smoky sauce, so I'm gonna try this a little bit. See how good it is. I do smell things before I, before I eat them. It helps me figure out how it's gonna taste. Okay. All right, get the inside. Still kind of pink. So this is not a backyard patty. They have formed this and smash this themselves, uh, but it's still pretty thick. But they cooked it, medium, so it's still pink in the middle. They did pretty, they did a pretty good job on that. 
Another thing I'm getting here is this like really large rush of cream cheese. Uh, and cream cheese is pretty mild stuff, but it's nice when they put a lot on there because then you actually get not just like a cream, but you actually get the taste and the tang of the cream cheese itself. You know, let me take another bite. That sauce doesn't add anything to it at all. Interesting. The Anaheim doesn't have much heat to it at all. I'm not getting any heat from the jalapenos much either, but there's a nice kind of fruity taste to the Anaheim. I tend to like Anaheim chilies. Hmm. Okay, you know, pretty good overall. The bun is just dry. I think it's a potato bun. It's pretty dry. It's not adding much to this. So I'm saying, you know, a 7-1. Definitely not a, a, not a bad burger, not a great burger. But you can come here, you can eat this, you'd be happy. A lot of people that, that told me to come to this one. And, uh, you know, solid. Like right around solid. Okay. So those are the burger reviews. Enter new office. And I'm out.